American abroad collecting currency abroad. This right in front of you is what a set of German coins normally looks like. You have a 2 euro, 1 euro, 50 cent, 20 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, 2 cents, and 1 cent coin here. The 2 euro coin is the largest denomination coin, it has the largest nominal value that freely circulates inside the European Union. There are 5 euro, 10 euro, 3 euro coins, don't get me wrong, but those are all usually made out of silver or gold. And there's even 100 euro coins. However, those don't freely circulate and the metal value is worth obviously more than the nominal value. So more I geared towards collectors or people who want to save up precious metals, which isn't a bad idea, by the way. Two euros has a outer brass, uh, excuse me, copper nickel ring. And in the middle, it's a brass nickel ring. On the one euro coin, it's exactly opposite. You have the brass nickel ring on the outside and the copper nickel ring, plated nickel in the middle. 8.5 grams, 7.5 grams. You have a 50 cent coin with Nordic, made of Nordic gold, 20 cent, 10 cent. Like I said, both featuring the Brandenburg Gate. And then you have down here, 5 cents, 2 cents, 1 cent. And those coins have a leaf showing or featuring as a motive a German oak tree. The front of the euro coins all look the same in each country. That's the one cent coin, the two cent coin, the five cent coin, the 10 cent coin, then we'll show you the 20 and the 50. 20, 50, 10 look all identical for the most part except for size, diameter, and weight. Five, two, one, same story there, and one euro and two euro look also fairly similar. So this is a standard set. These freely float. So in Germany, you'll find coins from Greece, from France, from Spain, because people come from those countries and visit, and the money freely moves. It's kind of an inter interesting concept when you think about it. You could see how the money moves from, I guess you could say, one country to the other. People from France fly to Greece, bring their French coins there. Someone go comes from Greece and flies into Italy, then all just Greece coins in Italy. It just, it's moving constantly. That's how recently I found another Vatican coin here, digging through coins at work. So someone was obviously at, in the Vatican and somehow came back to Germany and that coin made its way all the way here to where I'm located. So I just wanted to let you guys know that these coins are very interesting. The idea of it is very interesting. You can see more how the money moves, at least with the European coins in comparison to U.S. coins because uh, the U.S. state quarters are minted all, either in Denver or Pennsylvania and uh, pit, uh, and for that matter, Philadelphia, and I guess you could say it's not actually minted in the home state. These are actually generally minted in the country of origin. Sometimes other countries are minting coins for that country of origin, though, because not every country has uh, the minting capabilities. Or I've also heard that other countries mint for some of the European countries. So I just want to let you guys know a little bit about the European coins. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a great day.